Okay, so we're still doing practice test one. Okay, but now I'm going to do a parallel sailing problem. So I'm going to skip to uh, problem 27. Okay, so uh, here we go. So uh, we're in position 5912. Uh, we start at 5912 north by 14 west, and we're going to 5912. Oh, look, that's L1, that's L2, but they're the same number. This is parallel sailing. So it means we're going either due east or due west because we're staying on one latitude line. So we're going to go from 14 west to uh, uh, 320 west. Okay. So what I want to do here is, um, you know, I want to draw my uh, diagram. Okay. I always want to start off with a diagram. And then I'm going to go to Bowditch. Okay. So it turns out that this is parallel sailing. Okay. Which means we're staying on one parallel. So our latitude is never going to change, okay, uh, as long as we go east or west, all right? And they're asking us to find the course and the distance. Well, to find the course, you know, you might be able to see that this is actually east because my longitude was west, 14 west. Now it's 3 west, so it's getting smaller. It means I'm going east. But I'm going to show you how you can draw a picture for that. So strange but true for, um, for uh, a parallel sailing problem, since my latitude doesn't change, I'm actually going to draw a longitude diagram. So here's my longitude diagram. And it turns out that I'm like looking down at the top of the world, and this right here is the small circle of 5912. So this whole circle here is the latitude of 5912. Okay? And 5912 crosses the Greenwich Meridian, and it crosses the, the uh, um, uh, Dateline. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in. So 14 west is over here. That's longitude 1. That's 14 west. And longitude 2 is 320 west. So that's over here. So that's 320. That's longitude 2. Okay? So what they want to know is what is that course and what is that distance? Well, I'm going to go from here to there. So that is counterclockwise. That's east. So that's east, so that's 0, 090. 0. So CN is 0, 090. 0. That's the course we're doing, okay? Great. So now what we're going to do is uh, we want to see what formula we're going to use. So, you know, we have been using Bowditch for the plane sailing, but we're going to flip this over now. We're going to find the para uh, parallel sailing. So here's parallel sailing, and then there's two formulas, okay? So, and by the way, here's example one, and here's example two. So this is example one, find departure, and this is example two, uh, find change in longitude. Well, in the problem, they're asking us to find uh, departure and the and the uh, uh, find the course and the departure, uh, uh, the distance between point one and point two, and departure is miles. So we already found the course that was zero nine zero. So now we have to find departure. Well, here are the two formulas. This one, P is departure. This is the formula we need. P equals D low cosine L. So P equals D low cosine L. So now uh, we're going to need to uh, take our latitude, which is 5912, and convert that. Whenever you do a trig function, you got to be in degrees, decimal degrees. So we're going to have to take 5912 and convert that to degrees, decimal degrees. We're going to do that in a minute. And then D low. Okay, so well, what's D low? Uh, well, we uh, they didn't give us D low directly, but they inferred it. D low is this. This is D low. The, the a change in longitude from longitude one to longitude two. So, longitude one, longitude two. Okay, uh, since they're on the same side, I'm going to subtract. So longitude one was fourteen zero zero. Longitude two is three twenty. So I'm going to subtract 320 from 14. I can just make that 13. That becomes 60. So that's 40, 10 degrees, 40 minutes. Okay, and that's what I'm going to stick up into there. But I got a problem. That's 10 degrees, 40 minutes of arc. I need that to either be degrees or minutes. Uh, my ultimate answer I want to be in minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 1040. I'm going to convert it to minutes. So that part's already in minutes. This is in degrees. There's six, uh, 60 degrees, uh, one de 60 minutes per degree. So I'm going to multiply the 10 times 60. That's going to give me 600 plus 41. So my D low is 641 minutes of arc, which is 10 degrees, 40 minutes of arc. Those are synonymous. So that D low, excuse me, is going to go there. Okay. So I'm going to substitute that in there. 
Now, L is latitude. Well, they gave me my latitude, 59.12, but I'm going to do a trig function, and that must be degrees. So I got to convert uh, uh, 59.12 to degrees, decimal degrees. Well, that's already degrees, so that's going to be 59. This is minutes. If I divide the 12 by 60, I get 0.2. So that's 59.2. So C is 59 point, uh, my L, excuse me, not L, uh, not C, L, my latitude is 59.2 degrees. So now I'm going to substitute both of those in. So P equals D low, 641, times the cosine of L, 59.2. And that, 641 times the cosine of 59.2, and that equals... 328.2, okay? Uh, does that make sense? Oh, I'm, uh, okay, I'm looking at my answer key. Uh, I think we're slightly off. Uh, oh, 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 it's not 641, it's 640. Okay, it's 640. So that number should be 640, not 641. Okay, and when I do that, okay, so 640 times cosine of 59.7, that is 327.7. So P is 320, oh my God, I guess I'm a little bit, 327.7. Okay, so that is the answer for that. And that concludes that problem.